is my wife, right here, myself, and a close friend of mine and his wife. That's my brother, right there, and me in Washington, D.C. Well, I, I have a hell of a good life. So I was very, very fortunate. I never thought I'd ever live to be that old. I should have been killed back at that first time that we were pulling the dead out of that foxhole. I should have been killed then, but I wasn't. The only one I give a damn about is the Purple Heart. It was 1950, November of 1950. So, but they needed people in a hurry. The Marine Corps was in sad, sad shape when I got in, over there. Mm -hmm. I landed at Wonsan Harbor, which is in North Korea. In Japan, I got issued cold weather gear, and which was not worth a damn. Uh, it was all World War II stuff that was left over and we froze our butts off. Well, it was 30 to 60 below zero in North Korea. And I, and I saw action immediately, like as soon as I got joined my outfit. And, well, after the first few nights, we really got into some real deep stuff. And the farthest we got was uh, you damn me and, and the mountain that did us in. We got in some hellish hell firefights along the way. We were surrounded by 600 and some thousand. They were, their objective was to annihilate the 1st Marine Division. I was sitting on my foxhole with my feet hanging down in the foxhole reading a letter, either from my mother or my girlfriend, I don't know which. And a uh, uh, mortar came in. Mortar shells go up like this and come down like this, and you can't hear them. And that was the first shot of the day from the mortar that we got. I was the one that got hit. It was a miracle wound. It really was a miracle wound. It could have been my head. God did a good job, but right where he should have, my right shoulder. It was a hell of an experience. And I, I wouldn't do it again. Because I'm glad I went through it at least once. <laughs>